finding a balance between new and old. People in the Tobin Hill community say they're trying to save the character of their community as developers inch closer to the neighborhood's historic boundary. Today, City Council voted to deny designation that would protect two old properties from being demolished. The night team's Patty Santos is live to tell us why Council voted it down. Yeah, these are the two properties behind me that are in question. While they have history to them, they are not designated as historic. We're right outside the boundary of the Tobin Hill Historic District, which means they're not protected. We're losing our neighborhood. We're losing the neighborhood that that so many people want to move into. Frederica Kushner, resident of Tobin Hill, says she's trying to save the character of her community. On Thursday, she was one of several people who asked city council to deem these two properties just on the edge of the historic district as historic to prevent them from being torn down. They're taking away the old houses. They're taking away, pardon me, the funky part. <laughs> The owner told council he hasn't been successful at renting them and deeming them historic would be too expensive to keep up. The properties sit near the McCullough Corridor on Evergreen next to a lot that's already being developed. This property in particular that was adjacent to the hospital uh, provided an opportunity for this property owner to, to develop something uh, with a little more density. And Councilman so, Roberto Treviño says the city has to find a balance between protecting the neighborhoods and supporting growth. What we know is because of where it sits, it is, uh, it is a place where we can, we can handle uh, growth because it's a part of a commercial corridor. Uh, it, it, doesn't, it wouldn't put pressure on our neighborhoods. Kushner and feels like she's battling not only new development, but also homes being gutted and turned to short-term rentals, taking away the charm in neighbors. We want to preserve the character of the neighborhood. And when developers work inside or just outside a historic district, there are guidelines that they must follow in order to build. Guidelines that tell them, for example, how tall or how wide a building can be. Tim, easy.